Hi and welcome back. Today's demo is for this vase of flowers. I'm going to show you how I painted them very loosely and impressionistically. Uh, I've drawn out um, a rough sketch showing the groupings of the flowers and just outlining the position of the vase on the paper. Um, I'm using um, Milford 100% cotton paper. It's taped to my board with ordinary decorator's masking tape and my board's at an angle of 45 degrees. I'm using a Princeton Aqua Elite synthetic wash brush um, known as a Mottler. It's a new brush and it's really wonderful. I'm really enjoying using it and I'm loosely making up a mixture of quite a weak but still well pigmented mixture of perylene green, sap green and aureolan yellow. And I'm working around my sketch, um, trying to sort of vary up the tones of green and yellow, keeping it more yellow and lighter at the top and adding in more green as I get closer to the bottom of the painting. So I'm working with um, wet paint onto the dry page here and making sure that I leave all my flower area and most of my vase area unpainted so that when I come to paint the flowers um, I can get some nice vivid colours that don't have any sort of any of a green tone underneath them. So working from top to bottom gravity is helping the wash to run down um, the different colours and hues are sort of marrying and mingling in my wash, adding a bit more yellow to brighten up the bottom half a little bit. And I'm just about done with that wash then. And then using my three quarter inch flat brush to put a bit of reflection just starting in the right side of the glass vase. Um, just going to add a bit of texture into the wash before it dries. So I'm picking up some green and some yellow um, and I'll spatter using a fan brush um, into the wet paint. Now this will add extra texture and interest and just gently and subtly dry on the page and give me a nice sort of almost a bouquet background. I can also flick a bit of water into the background as well and that will give me some sort of little pale blooms. Now I've laid it flat and I'm going to let it dry completely and then come back and continue with the flowers. It's dry completely, it's dried a little bit darker than that but the sun's streaming in through the window so uh, it looks a bit bleached out. I will show you the proper colours though at the end of the painting. Now I'm going to mix up a few lovely colours for my flowers and they are um, Opera Rose and Quinacridone Purple. I'll also be using a bit of ultramarine blue so I'll get those mixed up on my palette ready to use. I'm going to start off with quite pale transparent watery washes um, and I'll begin to work around loosely just putting in some sort of scribbly marks of paint with my um, Polina Bright number one synthetic round brush. You can use any small brush if it's got a good point um, for this, any brush that you've got that you're comfortable with. I'm just going to sort of work around my penciled flowers, um, just getting a bit, bit of this lovely pink tone in maybe deepening it a little bit using the Quinn Purple. And then I can um, colour blend on the page with these three colours um, to get some nice variety of tones and hues. You can see how nice the ultramarine blue, it sort of mixes with those other colours to give me a lovely violet, bluish violet tone that gives me good darks, but some lovely sort of nice change of hue across those loose flower areas. If you notice, I'm not holding my brush right up on the ferrule near to the bristles. I'm holding it well back on the handle and this enables me to paint at arm's length 
and to paint very, very loosely. It keeps my brushwork fresh and I can move my whole arm when I'm painting and that enables me to keep a much, much fresher and looser brushwork. Now I want to get some of the stems in while those flowers are still wet so that I can have everything kind of mingling together a little bit, blending together and colour blending so that it looks harmonious and linked. And for that I'm using my Pro Art Small Sword Liner brush. It's giving me these lovely fine lines. Again, I'm being guided by my pencil drawing and I'm linking my flower groupings together. I'm mostly using the perylene green, but I'm just um, tempering it a little bit, warming it up with the paler green too. You can mix your own green. Um, you could use the Oriolin and the ultramarine blue and it will give you some beautiful greens, but I'm very fond of my perylene green and sap green combination. Flicking out some little leaves using the brush. Just enough to link together my stems and to start building up the look of my bunch of flowers. And then back in with some slightly heavier paint, richer, drier paint this time, so that it's showing up a little more strongly. So you can see I'm not really painting flowers as such, I'm painting impressions of flowers. If I wanted to do more detailed flowers, I'd have to use a completely different style of painting. Uh, what I'm looking for here is something that's very, very loose, uh, very washy, and just gives the impression of the vase of flowers, but still keeping it nice and sort of light. I want my washes to be transparent um, and not overworked. So I'm trying to keep it as fresh as possible. Some darker reflection into the vase now. And then painting um, the surface on which the vase is resting, the tabletop or the windowsill, uh, just with a, a quick wash of green. I'm looking for quite a lot of like soft and hard edges here, which is what's giving interest to the painting. Um, or another word for that is, or expression for that is lost and found edges. Some edges are really soft and misty. Others are a lot harder and sharper and more focused and draw the eye a lot more. And building up those accents, um, I'm now going to highlight the vase by using this beautiful Opera Rose and Quin Purple mix um, and just using my Mottler brush to put in these kind of horizontal and vertical brush strokes just around the edge of the vase. You can see I'm leaving a little bit of unpainted paper between the green reflection on the vase and the background pink and that helps to make the vase really stand out nicely but still keeps it nice and sort of loose and semi-abstract. And now using a much richer, thicker mixture of my perylene green um, and my small calligraphy brush, and I'm going to just put in a few dark accents here and there, um, mostly on the stems and the leaves, and really to sort of emphasize the dark shadowed areas where the flowers come out of the vase and sort of between the bunches, just to really pull the painting together. Um, the loose brushwork itself looks more effective when a few accents and sharper details are added. And once I've got the darks in with the perylene green, 
Um, the next thing to do will be to put the final bright and brilliant colours into the flowers just to really bring them out. So again, a much richer, thicker mixture. But I'm adding water here and there to sort of blend it across the groups of flowers, making sure I don't cover um, the washes that I've got there already. And then I get these lovely, vibrant colours as the transparent washes layer up. But I've also got lots of beautiful pale washes from the first washes that are showing there as well. And then some final touches of the ultramarine blue to give that really rich, deep, purpley tone. And because my board's at a 45 degree angle, um, some of the paint is running towards the bottom of each flower grouping and just giving me shadow just through the act of gravity. So here's the finished painting. So I think this has been quite successful in creating quite a light and vibrant vase of flowers. The reference photo for this um, is over on my Patreon page. So if you um, are interested in that, please follow the link below. And if we look closely, you can see um, the colour blending on the page, the soft, the hard edges, the nice dark tones and the light transparent background wash. Well, I hope that was um, helpful and I hope you'll give something like that a go. Uh, please let me know how you get on and what you thought of this demo in the comments below. Um, and thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. And I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.